Hybrid cloud, how do you get there? What are some practical steps to developing a hybrid cloud strategy? I've invited Alan Cohen. He is the VP of product at Elastifile to help us out. Alan, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, George. So it looks like you got a premise, uh, on-prem situation drawn up there. Why don't you talk us through what you have? Indeed, a lot of enterprises start with an on-premises storage solutions, and mm -hmm. in many cases, this is a distributed file system to enable working with many workloads on that environment. Okay. But they quickly realize that they want to benefit from this huge resource that is out there right next to them. Basically, these are the public clouds providers. And the first thing that they notice is that they want to get their data out there because you can't run the applications without the applications having data. So Elastifile provides a solution called Cloud Connect which connects their on-prem environment into this cloud environment by basically taking the file systems they have on-prem, compactizing them by deduping and compressing and putting them on object storage in the cloud. Now we do this very efficiently so that you can only store differences between versions and basically you get an active archive that you can use for your data in the cloud or back on-prem. So is that the primary use case is to use it as an archive? So that's what many people start with, but when they want to burst into the cloud, when they want to migrate workloads into the cloud, they want to basically use the file system within the cloud environment. Okay. So what we do is we allow them to check out this data into an Elastifile cloud file system running inside the cloud provider environment itself. And as you check out that data, you retain everything of the original file system that the original file system had. All of the hierarchies, all of the metadata, all of the access lists, so that basically now you can take those same applications that were running on-prem, move them in the cloud, into the cloud, and in the cloud, they run in exactly the same way that they ran on-premise. So that makes conversion really easy. I don't need to change any of my applications or anything? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're, there's no refactoring involved with this uh, movement. The same application, the same files, the same hierarchies that it saw on-prem, it will now see in the cloud. And in fact, it's bi-directional because in many cases, you have information that you're now gathering in the cloud. For example, you're running a certain application on-prem, but you're running analytics on its data in the cloud. You now want to take those analytics and bring them back on-prem. So we do this by making sure that this Cloud Connect works in both direction and all of that data is available either on-prem or inside the cloud. Well, that seems like a really seamless way to develop a hybrid cloud strategy. One of the things that we're getting is a request for sort of a multi-cloud thing. Is that, is that something that you can help with as well? Indeed, people are afraid of being locked in into one cloud provider. Many times it's a legal limitations where they have to prove that they can run in multiple environments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's an economic consideration of wanting to make sure that you can arbitrage between the different clouds. Okay. Many clouds offer spot instances at very good prices and when you burst, you want to select what cloud you want to run on. Sure. So what Elastifile does, it allows you to work with any number of additional clouds and we work with all of the major cloud providers uh, Amazon, Google, Microsoft and we allow you to do this migration into the specific object format of that cloud that you're running into. So if this was Amazon, this would be into S3. If this is Azure, it will be into Azure Blobs. If this is Google, it will be into Google Storage. And the benefit is that once you check it out inside that secondary cloud, you basically get that same effect of having the exact same file system available in all of these clouds. Meaning that there is a simple selection that you can do where to run the application. If spots instances are cheaper at a certain point here, you can run them here. If they are better priced at this cloud at a certain time, just switch between the clouds. Your data is available everywhere and it's available in exactly the same way between those clouds. So from a uh, Elastifile perspective, what's required to get started? 
Elastifal is a software only solution. So we provide our solution as software packages that can be run within the cloud. It's a installable within minutes in any of the major cloud provider. Also on-prem, you can either run us on bare metal or you can run us in virtual environments. And you can also migrate data from existing solutions into the Elastifile solution, either in all of these locations or just selecting one of the locations. So if there is an enterprise that is happy with its current on-prem software but wants to burst into the cloud or wants to enable that multi-cloud capability, he can continue to work on his existing storage and use Elastifile and Elastifile's Cloud Connect to get the data into the cloud and to work on the file system in the cloud as well. Wow, okay, that's really good. So, uh, Alon, one of the questions I get a lot is also, how do I kind of tear the environment down very quickly to maximize uh, cost utilization and things like that? Can you guys help with that as well? Definitely, that is a major consideration when enterprise use hybrid cloud environments because they only want to use the cloud when they need it and at the amount that they need it. Sure. So basically we allow you to take that cloud file system, check it in back into object storage and basically turn off all of your compute cluster as well as the file system itself. Now when it's checked in into object, it's compactized, so it's very efficient, but it retains all of the information that is required to simply check it back out, recreate that file system in the cloud so that you can burst it and use it when needed. You can also scale it up and scale it down as required because in burst situation, you sometimes want to enlarge your compute cluster, sure. making sure that the storage provides the same capabilities. So we allow that and we allow to do that with hot add and hot remove of nodes that can grow the cluster and shrink the cluster as required. Awesome, so not only have you made hybrid cloud easy to use, you've, you've enabled multi-cloud and you're uh, really helping manage costs by this uh, check-in, check-out uh, type of capability. Yes, we believe that those are the three tenets of working in a hybrid cloud environment. You want to efficiently get the data into the cloud. You want to be able to efficiently use the data as a file system when needed in the cloud. And you want to be able to control cost. And we believe that these are the three tenets that enable a truly efficient hybrid cloud. You want to first be able to migrate the data into the cloud, making it available when you need it. You want to be able to spin it out, check it out into the cloud and be able to work efficiently at any scale in the cloud. And you want to be able to check in the data back into object so that you can control your cost and select which cloud you're working with at each and every point. Well, Alon, thanks very much for uh, joining us today. It was very helpful. Thank you very much. So there you have it. If you're looking to develop a hybrid cloud strategy and then even extend it into a cloud to cloud uh, capability, here's a good way to do it. And you can do so by being very, very efficient in your utilization.